Hello everybody, my name is Spencer Patton. Today I want to talk a little bit about five articles. Uh, the first article I want to cover, I just want to break down some key points that I took from it. And um, this article is the strategic communication imperative. And so the first main takeaway that I got from this was strategy, not tactics. So strategy meaning we should be utilizing long-term unified messaging that is research that is planned out um, rather than short-term tactics that hold less weight altogether this is um, this is important because we are centralized centralizing a message and getting a getting it across to our um, audience whatever it may be if it's if we're talking about strategic communication maybe we're just targeting one audience with this certain message so that's something we want to make sure that we are doing um, also, this is a scalable problem. Larger organizations are going to feel the weight of uh, the lack of strategic communication um, whenever, whenever they go to communicate with their, their audiences about all these different products, all these different services. Um, maybe if you're a nonprofit sector, all of these different places that you're reaching uh, that people may have more of an interest in. So uh, it's really important for us as um, uh, public relations professionals to recognize these different uh, these different things. Also, some other key points I want to just run through real quick are is that senior managers must be involved in the organization. Communication must be integrated within the organization across marketing, across public relations. They must all have a, a centralized goal. And then also, as I said before, uh, communication professionals should be um, in this process and they should have a broad range of management skills so that they sh should be able to um, communicate this effectively and also uh, delegate these projects and these uh, efforts towards this communication effectively as well. So the second article I want to look at is positioning why you should define your nonprofit's big idea. All right, so positioning statements, they are an internal tool. Uh, as a mission statement might be something you kind of advertise sometimes um, to kind of show your uh, business's purpose, a positioning statement is going to be a more specific thing. Uh, it's going to be used as an internal tool for a specific organization to kind of check, um, are we utilizing our um, product to the best of the consumer's needs or maybe this is the stakeholder's needs? Um, so basically positioning can be defined as what people think about you rather than what we want to, you know, create this idea that we want to create for our customer or our consumer um, or our uh, donating uh, bodies. So uh, I'm going to move on real quickly. So we'll go to mission, uh, the eight word mission statement by Stanford Social Innovation Review. Uh, the eight word mission statement. So it is very important for a organization to have a mission statement. And when it is uh, articulated in a way that is efficient, but also very clear, that is very important. So uh, this article argues that an sub eight or sub eight word mission statement is um, ideal for nonprofit organizations to define their company's purpose. And um, it also checks, it helps nonprofits check whether they are really getting to their goal or if they're taking a roundabout way and maybe need to cut off some things that may be um, costing them a lot of money or uh, be a waste of time for to achieve their specific goal. And so a classic example of this uh, that they mentioned within the article was talking about poverty work in Africa and putting a lot of work into educating people um, in the United States over the pover uh, about the poverty in Africa in order to kind of help them or get them to donate. Well, this may not be important because this is not really getting to the goal and not really effectively um, reaching those people in Africa. So... We'll talk about brand next. So uh, this is really important, and I saw this article would be really informative. So the role of brand in non in the nonprofit sector. So this is just talking about nonprofit, but it does relate a lot to profit 
for-profit organizations as well. So I thought it was really interesting. They brought up that nonprofit and profit um, and for-profit uh, sectors are converging in a way uh, whenever you're talking about con management of nonprofit bodies, it's people that have maybe come from the nonprofit sector and they're using the same language about branding as uh, the nonprofit or as the for profit side. So um, when we look at branding, we're seeing some of the same parallels between these two sectors. A strong brand is allowing you to uh, basically. Rather than you know get more consumers, get more people um, in that manner, to reach out to stakeholders and have a an authority to tell people that you are a to tell people that you are a reliable um, for our nonprofit organization that you are someone that should be donated to, you are someone that should be helped and volunteered with, and this really uh, having a unified brand is very um, that is very important as well. Um, also, something that's, that I saw pretty interesting in this article was that uh, leveraging other brands to lift up your nonprofit can be useful. So le leveraging reputable, reputable brands that may not be competing, but be um, something that you could uh, work alongside with is, um, is a good way to um, bolster your, um, your reputation as a brand. Lastly, I want to quickly go through the last um, article, which is, are you understanding the power of communications? Uh, this is an article designed to s help sell uh, this product on uh, BigDuck.com. They, uh, they have some services that, um, that help uh, nonprofit organizations with branding. But uh, I do want to uh, mention a couple points. This, this article is really all about integrated communication. How can every person in your organization uh, be a communicator on some level? And we're taking not only the public relations side of things, but we're taking the marketing side of things. We're taking the sales and support side of things. And we're integrating our communication to have a unified message. And they argue that this, this kind of um, integration is transformative for a business. And I believe the same, uh, having all of your messages, your visuals, your motion graphics, your graphics, your advertisings, uh, all of these things converge to be a uh, one single message for a specific audience. This is very important um, in the world of communication. So thank you for watching my video. That's all I have today, and I'll see you guys later.